What's up, Bulldogs? All right, today I wanted to talk about something that I was thinking about a lot uh, yesterday, okay? And uh, full disclosure, I took a few shrooms. <laughs> All right, now, I, I know some people are gonna get a little antsy about this, but I did actually in the last video where I was talking about my issues where, you know, that I wasn't okay, um, a lot of people did actually comment that I should try that. And just to, you know, just to let you know, I'm not doing this for recreational purposes. It's really just to kind of explore, uh, to be a little bit more introspective. I was doing some microdosing, just kind of experimenting with it. It's my first time even trying any kind of psychedelic substance. So, you know, not, not something that I'm advocating or recommending, but there's also a lot of people that said that it might help with depression, uh, PTSD, some, some things like that. We'll see, you know, I did notice that it did make me more introspective. And anyway, while I was more introspective, one of the things that I was talking about and discussing was what is the purpose of personal development? Like, <laughs> what does personal development actually get you, right? Because I've been on a quest on a mission for personal development for a very long time. And it, like I said, at the height of my personal development, uh, I felt like it was one of the peaks of my life, right? Because I was just learning, assimilating so much stuff, changing in so many ways and seeing the results of that. But then I have to question where I'm at now, what was the result of that personal development, right? And the reason why I ask that is it's like, the question is like, what happens? Like, what is the benefit of running a hundred mile race, right? Like all that training, all that, you know, if I don't have the discipline now, if I don't feel like I have the mental toughness and discipline now. And, and yeah, it's probably still there. It's probably, you know, I'm just probably not exercising it at this point, but that was what really threw me for a loop because I kind of figured that the point of personal development was that you would develop yourself and then you would change and those changes would be permanent. And don't get me wrong, right? Uh, you know, I'm sure that there are permanent changes. And in fact, I know that there are permanent changes that have occurred. It's just, uh, it's just a question I think that we all kind of have to ask is like, why, why, what is the result? What are you actually developing? You know, what are you personally developing, right? Is it your character, right? Is it, it's not your body, right? I mean, you are developing your body, but it, it is your mind. It's that mental toughness. But just because you've developed that mental toughness doesn't mean that it can't go away, right? Like I said, I'm not as kick-ass as I used to be. Now, uh, that's not in any way to judge myself in a harsh way. I don't feel great about myself because I'm I'm not that right now but it doesn't mean that I can't be that again it's just you know in my mind I'm starting to question and say okay well what 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 was the end result of this like what was I trying to achieve and if I really think about it if I examine my own motives and and you kind of have to examine your own motives too because if you're watching these videos you're on some kind of quest of personal development and so here's the thing I think for me right is that why was I doing personal development right? What was the primary cause? Was it to make me more happy, more satisfied in life? No, I don't think so. Uh, because that wasn't the result, right? I'm not more happy now, right? Uh, I w the, the journey w was, was, was happy, right? But, um, you know, ultimately, the, the thing for me was I was trying to I was trying to get rid of insecurities. And I think pr possibly the purpose of personal development and what is beneficial to it, right? What is the long lasting thing is it's not something that you gain, but it's something that you lose and you lose the insecurities that you held, right? So for me growing up as a dork and, and not a very popular kid in school and, and just, you know, whatever, nerd, nerdy kind of guy, very socially awkward, I always sort of felt this really deep security around women, right? I, I really did. And that's why a lot of the stuff, like if you watch a lot of my content, it was focusing on that because it was a big thing for me. It really was a big thing for me. I mean, I had never, in throughout high school, I had never kissed a girl. I had never had a girlfriend, right? It was only after college that I started to, you know, fall into, uh, into it. But I was still not very, uh, I still didn't know what the hell I was doing, right? I, I was still, you know, not, not very good, okay? And I didn't feel good. And so I think what ended up happening was that the personal development really became something to make me feel more valuable to women. And I think at the first level of personal development, it's like a lot of guys will go to the gym, right? And they'll, they'll lift weights or they'll, They'll try to get their physique in shape or they'll try to build a business and make money. And the reason why they're doing that is directly to attract women, right? So they're like, all right, if I do this, then women will like me. But they find out that that's not actually true, right? If you want a really good explanation of this, go listen to some of Casey Zander's stuff. Uh, by the way, I don't, I don't completely agree with everything that Casey says, 
Uh, but I think he's got really solid content that, that a lot of what he says about the, about the female psychology is correct and true and about being masculine. There's just, I think, some deeper levels that if you follow his advice, which is kind of at a, at a more surface level, I would say, uh, that you will be missing out on some of the depth of relationships that you could have. Uh, again, I'd love to talk to him about that, but it's no knock on his brand or his content because it is really good. It is really solid. I, I like to watch his videos and listen to that content. But, you know, the idea behind this is that in order to really be attractive to women, you have to have a masculine frame. You have to really develop your masculinity, which means, you know, masculine behavior, the way that you act. And as you progress in personal development, especially a lot of guys that came into personal development, let's be awesome, or let's be, let's be awesome, <laughs> let's be honest, came from pickup, right? Because that was something, that was a gateway. Like that was, again, coming back to the root, like why did people get into personal development? A lot of guys did because they weren't having success with women and they thought by improving themselves, they could. And so you kind of reach this second level where you stop trying to do things directly to, uh, to attract women, but you're still in an indirect way, doing things to attract women, right? So what I mean by that is like for me personally, I know that if I really examine deeply my motives, so like what was I doing with personal development? Like why was I doing these things, the, you know, uh, building this business, like running these races, like, you know, fasting and just like trying to increase myself, right? And increase my status. Uh, it, it was because I wanted to feel good enough about myself that I could feel confident enough that I could feel like I deserved uh, women, right? Or I deserved the affection or attraction of women, right? Again, does is that a good thing necessarily? Probably not, right? But I'm being honest with you, right? I'm telling you like I had to really look at myself and my motives because it helped me also figure out why do I not have that drive anymore? And it's because now I have in my mind, the perfect woman, right? The, the woman that, that I love, that I, that, you know, is, is so wonderful to me that there, I don't even think about like that I would want to attract another woman. It, it doesn't even occur to me. And so a lot of that drive and motivation for the personal development is gone because of that. And so the thing, and that's what really brought me to the question is it's like, I have to figure out, right. And I suggest that you do too. What is a deeper reason for personal development? And yeah, don't get me wrong, okay? I, like, I don't wanna treat this as, as this very superficial thing because there is a lot of spiritual growth and wisdom that came out of my personal development journey and it's stuck with me, right? I'm a much wiser man, right? I am much more in touch with my masculinity. I'm much more in control of my emotions and uh, not emotionally reactive. I'm way more stoic. Uh, you know, I have a, a, a greater depth to my thinking and my understanding, my awareness. So you could say that really what it has done is it raised my awareness level and I have a higher level of awareness, but I'm still not all the way there. And, you know, and, and I still want to develop uh, further but I don't know why, <laughs> like, what is the thing? There has to be something that drives you towards the thing, right? And, and again, like I said, you know, I know that there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments that are gonna say, yeah, well, you know, I have this pure motive. It's not, I, I don't care about women at all, or I don't care about these things. And it's probably not true, honestly. Like there's probably, if you really examine deeply and it's, it's built into your biology, right? There's nothing wrong with you to, like to admit this. It's just, it's built into your biology. If you study evolutionary biology, you'll find that this is what men do, right? This is why we have societies. We would not have cities and buildings and, and technology if it, not, if it were not for men's sexual uh, desire for women and to prove themselves and to outcompete other men and to, you know, to generate resources in order to attract them or to, you know, become a better man in order to attract them. So, you know, I, I think that it, it's just important to think about what, like, what are you actually developing, right? Because at some point I did start to say, well, I've lost all these things, right? I'm not in as good a shape as I was. I, I don't have the mental toughness or discipline that I, that I did before, right? Um, you know, w whatever it is. At one point I was like, I'm not as articulate. I can't even speak about what I'm thinking anymore as I was struggling to make videos and like the words won't come out. But now I seem to have gained that back because I relaxed into it because <laughs> I, I let the pressure off and just said, whatever, I'm just gonna fucking do it. So, which has happened many times in my life. But as I lost all these things or, f or felt like I lost all these things, I started to say, well, did I waste all my time, right? Uh, and, and the answer is obviously no. Right, you know, I've got all these books that I've read. I've learned a lot of things from them. And and the other thing that I that I realized in in that is that 
along my journey, so many of you guys have come along with that journey and I've got to jump to my call, but, um, and, and have grown and have developed yourself and have benefited and improved your lives and improved other people's lives because of it. So, I mean, ultimately I think, okay, now that I'm, I've, I've spent a lot of time thinking about the subject and, and again, you are my therapist, right? That's why you're, I'm, I'm recording in front of this camera is that ultimately I think that the next level of personal development and really the end goal, the, like the real reason to develop yourself is to help other people. <laughs> because honestly, if I really think about like how I've impacted the lives of you know, like my daughter and helped her and how much that her less struggles that she's going to go through in life because that I was able to give her the wisdom and give her the right books and to know these things and develop myself and understand mental toughness and discipline, uh, you know, and, and just, I, I think about how like, they, like really, the motive for becoming better should be to improve other people's lives. And, and and I've done some videos talking about how you can't unlock higher motives until you unlock the lower ones first. So first you gotta get your selfish desires met. You really do, right? Because, and personal development can get you to that. But if it's the end all, right? Like it sort of was conceptually for me in my mind, I, I think you're gonna hit a, a, a a really big dip when you when you finally arrive, right? It, 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 I felt like, again, like some goals were superficial goals, like making money and stuff. And I've talked about this before, how that's not gonna make you happy. It's not gonna make you fulfilled. Like it, it's gotta be like dr driving in a direction of becoming better. And that is what will fulfill you and what will bring you joy. But it's actually even more than that. It's that your real thing, your real passion, like the real thing you're trying to do has to be to give your gift to the world, to to love the world, to love the people in this world, to to bring them uh, ease in their suffering in life, and to help them reach a higher a higher level of awareness. So, anyway, those are just my thoughts uh, at, at the moment on this. But I am curious to hear your thoughts on like why did you get into personal development? What do you think you're actually developing? Like, what are the things that you develop that stick with you when you are developed?